Hey everybody, it's Party Elite back with some more Desperados 3 action, and I know what you're probably thinking, what's been going on? It's been so long between the previous episode and this one. My apologies about that, folks. Uh, lots of things got in the way, life in general got in the way, and most importantly, I was still trying to figure one thing out about this level because I wanted to present, again, you know, as thorough a playthrough as possible in one run. So I'm super excited to say that everything you see over here in green, all of these badges, they can all be accomplished in one single Desperado difficulty run. It was stressful to figure some aspects out, but I'm glad to have got it done, and we're gonna dive on in. Now, I understand it's been a while between episodes, so people might not be as interested in seeing the series continue, but if y'all are, uh, and you wanna see these badges get accomplished in Desperado Dis difficulty alongside the story get accomplished as well, please don't hesitate to let me know, folks, by leaving a like and a comment down below. Now, with all that said, let's dive on in, shall we? The Bridge at Eagle Falls. O'Hara Ranch has been defended, but the price was high. Determined to drive off the DeWitt Company for good, Kate proposes a dangerous plan. Uh, yes, we will be seeing the cutscene again. Kind of important for us. This is a fun mission, one of the more tense missions with almost a full stack of cards as far as the uh, involved parties is concerned. <sighs> I hate funerals. Yeah, who doesn't? This is bullshit. We were too slow. Uh, you did fine. I should have stayed with him. And then we'd bury two bodies today. Kate. How are you holding up? I still can't believe he's gone. I know. I just want to kill the bastards all over again. <laughs> Thank you, Hector. I hate to break it to you, but this is far from over. What do you mean? All the company has to do is send more men with the next train. He's right. We can't win this. Maybe it's time we cut our losses. No. Then what? We blow up the bridge. What bridge? The bridge at Eagle Falls. No bridge, no train, no more pain and misery for the people of Flagstone. I'm gonna go to Eagle Falls and blow their damn bridge to smithereens if it's the last thing I do. That's a tall order, miss. I'll do it alone if I have to. I've seen that place. It's massive. Well guarded. Gonna be a risky venture. Come on, Doc. You can't walk away from this now. Nah, of course not. You paid me. I'm yours. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Already my provisions? I'll saddle the horses. <laughs> we can take care of the bridge, miss. You just stay here, all right? No way, Mr. Cooper. This is my fight. I'm not gonna let you fight it for me. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> Looks worse than it is. Now, I've checked this place out. We just stroll through the camp, and we're at the bridge. Now that's a bridge. It'll take a wagon full of dynamite to bring her down. Not necessarily. That there is a weak spot. Target that and the rest will topple like a house of cards. Now that there's a plan, Dr. McCoy. But we're still gonna need dynamite. They're bound to have some stored around here somewhere. It makes sense there'd be dynamite in that hut in the quarry. There's also a weapons shed at the shooting range. If I was in charge around here, and keep that dynamite locked up tight. Yeah, don't you worry. Locks and me are old dance partners. So we snatch the dynamite and head back to the bridge. We set the dynamite and then find some cover. I'll save a bullet so I can light her up from afar. Then it's curtains, ladies and gentlemen. 
Then, we'll have to work our way to the train and meet up with Hector. You take it for granted that he'll be at the rendezvous on time? <laughs> this is one fireworks show he wouldn't miss for the world. I could use a disguise too, but I might have spotted just the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. All right, first order of business, Cooper comes down here, McCoy goes up there, and we quick save because this is a tricky opening and quick loading is faster than restarting. Uh, now, Cooper comes in over here, hides in the bushes, and we're waiting for this gunman to come back, and McCoy's actually going to wait for a conversation between these three to start before he tosses his bag over. The bag placement is pretty important. You want to make sure nobody gets spotted, so toss the bag up there. These guys are going to make their way down, and as they do that, we're going to try and avoid this guy's cone of vision. Get up to that edge there. Charge in. Toss our vial here at the same time. Down goes everybody. Pick the body up, bring him down right away, and then let's head on over and tie these guys up. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Drop that body, help tie these bodies up. We want to make sure they don't get up before uh, we're done here. One more to tie up. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We might actually need to move this guy over before I can pick my bag back up. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and quick save again. This one can be a pretty tricky opening, but this is the most efficient way to do it. Pretty happy with how that went. Now, over here, we're going to kill that thug first. We're going to wait until this guy and this guy start talking to each other before we are able to actually kill the guy. But we can move in right next to him for now. McCoy, meanwhile, is going to move up, wait for this conversation to start as well. And as soon as it does, we're able to actually sneak him into these bushes. Let's go ahead and kill him, pick the body up. we got to do this real quick here. I was a little slow on the draw there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're okay, we're okay. Pull behind. There we go, we're fine. McCoy over here, drop the bag down over here to pull this guy over. And then as soon as this guy notices his friend is missing, we're going to dive in and finish him off as well. And these positionings are important because this guy is able to spot us otherwise. Very important we get this right. Let's go. Let's go. Now, none of these bodies actually need to be hidden, uh, but just force a habit, I guess. Him in over there, tuck him in the bushes, and let's quick save that again. Thankfully, okay, so this is a level, I'm going to say straight up, is a level with a lot of quick saving and probably a lot of quick loading as well. There's a reason why this episode took so long, it's because finding the optimal solution was a time-consuming effort, but even then, there's room for uh, for mishaps. So we're going to move Buddy over to here, stay in the shadow of this viewing, uh, like this this viewing cone, basically. McCoy is going to come. See, when you make silly mistakes like that, you're also very likely to need to quick load. <laughs> My bad. All right, let's do that again. So Cooper over there. McCoy, you want to go around the bend, by the way. You don't want to get spotted over here like a fool. Uh, you also don't want to send Kate marching through the uh, the viewing area like a fool either. All right, so McCoy, who I have selected, goes up to the edge of the viewing cone over there. Kate comes over to about here. That should do the trick. Yeah, I think we can come over to here. And Cooper comes over to about here. And what we want to do is we want to kind of synchronize our moves now. Uh, Kate's going to toss her vial. We're going to toss our knife. And then McCoy boy is going to be diving in as well and we're going to do these a little separately so the perfume goes first as soon as buddy's blinded the two of the other things can happen at the same time so r to trigger the perfume go ahead and do that he's blind let's go he goes down before he's able to see again he goes down beautiful now none of these bodies need to be hidden in fact if you're if you're trying to do a speed run that's good to know that you don't have to hide any of these bodies now this is what I will call the most challenging part of this level, and I apologize if I have to quick load a thousand times. Hopefully not. If that's the case, I'll edit it. Don't worry. Um, but there are a couple of badges we want to accomplish, and to accomplish them, we have to get uh, some very precise things done over here, at least from my experience. So getting the dynamite from the quarry and getting the dynamite from the shooting range, those are both possible in the same run, and that's what we're going to do today. So no big deal there. Don't use firearms. That's a big one. So, without Hector, the only other way to take a long coat out is by shooting him and then meleeing him from behind. But we're trying to not use firearms. That's complicated enough as it is, but on top of that, we're going to try to kill five guards when destroying the bridge. 
Now what's good is you can knock guards out, stack their bodies at a hiding spot, and then when you blow the bridge, those knocked out guards will count as kills because they weren't dead until you blew the, uh, the dynamite up. So that's what we have to do. Uh, the other two, well, the other three, I mean, complete on hard is happening naturally, but the other two are relatively easy by comparison. Um, but, but this bridge section becomes very difficult because of don't use firearms stacking with five guards when destroying the bridge. So, let's just quick save again, just for posterity. And what we're going to do is, at first it's going to be the Cooper Show. You can either click this button to do non-lethal attacks only, or you press Y to do non-lethal attacks only. So we're going to dive on here when this guy's down over here, so no one's going to see this guy go down. Boom. Tie him up right away. Alright, that's body number one. He's going to be body number two. These guys are going to be body number three and four. And this guy, not that he knows, is going to be body number five. Um, and that should be all five of them. We can also make this guy body number five, but it's a little bit harder to do. That's how I actually did when I got the badge. But I sincerely hope that uh, making this guy body number five isn't going to, to hurt me. <laughs> but uh, uh, we'll, we'll try it. I'll try it the OG way first, and I'll, I'll try it this new way that I'm thinking of on the fly here. Let's go ahead and quick save that before we move. I'm going to actually toss the coin over here to slow this guy down a little bit. Wow, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. Um, don't think I can toss it far enough to... Unless I do that. Alright, sure. Because I want them both moving away at the same time, so... I'm not going to do the trick. Pop that over there. Move up to here. Yeah, this is not perfect. Alright, it's okay. We'll speed time up a little bit. I, I do like this about the game, that uh, things aren't always perfectly synchronized. So basically, I want to keep him here. Because this guy will be able to see me attack this guy if I let him get too far away. So a lot of things stacked together over here. Alright, keep you over here for now. There we go. I might need to toss another coin. I think so. Yep. Alright, cool. Now they should be synchronized. Get my punch ready. Wait for this guy to turn around. Oh, don't tell me I mistimed this. As soon as he turns around, you have to basically rush him. Come on now, come on now. There we go. Let's go. And boom. Down he goes. And because I held control at the same time, we do the whole thing. Someone weakens him with a gunshot, and the other takes him out from behind. Fantastic. We got ourselves a plan. Okay. Now, this is this guy's blind spot, so hopefully I've laid him down right that he's not going to get spotted. And if that's the case, we will be doing another quick save. Yeah, it looks like we're in the clear here. Alright, good. Things only get trickier. Once we get past the bridge, it gets a fair sight easier, I'd say. Still complicated, but a fair bit easier. We need to get both of you up as well. Move all the way up to here, get into this blind spot. And, uh... That'd be interesting. So he comes up over here when he's looking down over here. Alright, that's not bad. Just learning this uh, cycle over here. But he's going to turn around. Now I might get spotted over here actually because we're a little Understood. wide now. Let's see if that works. So as he's coming over, this guy turns around. Okay. Well, this might actually work. Alright, let's see what we can do. See what we can do. We're going to go with Cooper first only. And eight right behind. Both of them. Wait till he looks away. Rush down over to here. That's another blind spot. Now what we wait for is this guy to leave. Make sure we're right up by the corner there. Want to make sure they're both looking away. We're going to toss a coin, rush this guy, punch him. That's the plan here. So there we go. Kate, pull you back over here. Who's going to get knocked out? Good stuff. And we want to pull on over. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Pick him up, pick him up. Blind him. Alright. Toss the body. Original plan's not going to work. Oh my god. I can't believe I survived that. Alright. Let's get away. <laughs> Pull back. I want to hit the reset button a little bit just to get my head back in the game. Oh my god. I cannot believe I survived that. Alright. Quick save that. So, that's fine. You know, it's all about adapting to evolving situations. We still have one body, two body, three body, four body, and somebody down over here, right? That's our five. 
That's our five we need. All right, wait for this guy to turn around. And everybody's going to rush at the same time. No, quick save. Stay low behind him. We don't want him to notice our, like, footsteps or anything. Because they will notice your footsteps if you run by very close to them. All right, this part's still... This part's probably the trickiest part. Don't look down. Are you scared of heights? Oh, no. I love heights. But I've never had the time to learn to swim. When they start talking... Come on. To get in close... Blind him. In we go at the same time. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked out. I can't believe that worked out so smoothly. Tie them both up. So basically... Let's just quick save it first. Alright, cool. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to get these guys knocking them out. Again, using Y to keep them alive. Non-lethal attacks. Knocking them out at the same time. You want to synchronize their movements and you want to toss that uh, vial before they turn around. It is a very short conversation. If you miss time the synchronization, then they'll notice the other one going down, the alarm will trigger, and there's Buddy down over here who's going to get involved, this guy's gonna get involved as well, and that's it. You're done, right? Unless you wanna go violent. Uh, now that this is done, we're gonna quick save it again because I'm nervous like that. Now that this is done, this feels a lot better. So let's go ahead and hide all the bodies. And there's one spot that works great that is hidden from this guy's point of view. I also want to make sure that we are going to be in the clear. So you'll notice, obviously, he's not able to see here, but on his way back, he's able to see here perfectly. Uh, he's also able to see here, I think, pretty much perfectly, if I'm not mistaken. But I want to see if this is an alternate option. But, hmm. I guess there's some space there, but up over here is a spot that I like. So, we're going to go ahead and... You grab one body... You grab another body. You go ahead and move you over. Perfect timing. Go as quickly as we can here. A little worried about uh, Doc, obviously. Doc's gonna stay back there. Let's go. Let's find this perfect spot here. Put the body down. Now, hopefully, we got it. Hopefully, because there's it's a very slim margin of error. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, oh, okay. Good, we're okay. You know what I mean? It is a slim margin. Doc can start making a move. Move over here. Could have gone with uh, with Cooper instead. Hopefully we'll stack them up properly. So this is number two. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Alright. Good stuff. I'm able to rush out, but... Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. All right, hopefully we don't get spotted here. Oh, geez, okay, good. All right, so that's two bodies. Let's go ahead and bring McCoy back. Rush on over. Now Cooper's going to make his way over across. Save it over here. Cooper, let's go. Up to here. Now we're going to bring basically these two bodies over. And Cooper's the fastest to carry bodies with, so and that's why I'm picking him. Now remember when he looks back, this is his blind spot, and you want to dance around that blind spot and make your way over. Alright. Just a matter of patience over here, which, as we all know, is my strongest suit. Alongside, uh, sarcasm. Alright, there we go. Let's go. We're around. And we're home free. Pick buddy up. I should actually be able to... I don't know if I can make it in one go. Probably a terrible idea to even try. Yeah, we wouldn't have made it. We would not have made it. All right, wait for him to get past us. And we'll look over one more time. There we go. Oh, jeez. Carrying bodies is loud. Don't worry, there's nothing going on over here. All right, we're good. We're good, okay. Should have waited a little bit longer. A lot of close calls. This should be good. Hopefully we're fine there. We are. We'll quick save it again, but I want to make sure we're fine first. Man, my heart is like racing. Yeah, we're good. Hey, okay. let's move. Move, let's move, let's move. Now we gotta get all the way down over here. This one's a longer, longer haul. This is why I like trying to hide that body, because it's less of an effort afterwards. But unfortunately, that was not in our uh, books today. Alright, so let's take a couple of steps, because he's able to see pretty far. I want to take the body up to here first, I think. 
Oh, I mean, I could try rushing all the way to here. I don't know if that's a good idea. He doesn't wait here for very long. Let's try it. Too late now, I made the call. Down we go. Alright. Worked out. Oh, don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me. Keep going. Nothing back over here, don't worry about it. Your friends aren't going missing. You're fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh god. Alright. Oh no, that one might not be good. That one might not be good. Okay, looks like we're fine. Quick safe hat. Okay, so there you have it. Four bodies stacked up over there. Right, because we got the two from over here and the two from back over here. The best way to make sure is to count uh, count heads or legs or whatever you can count. We got one, two, three, four, right? Pretty sure I got four people in here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm, 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 it's impossible for me not to have, but watch I get this wrong or something. Nothing makes me more nervous than that. All right, let's go ahead and quick save it one more time. Now, things get relatively easier, just a bit more... Cool. Uh, just a little bit more uh, tedious. I, I, I don't want to call it tedious because tedium is technically is typically a bad thing. But uh, there's just stuff to do. I don't think anything is nearly as complicated. But I guess that's partly because I've played this level like 20 times. Um, let's see. So we can toss the bag anywhere below the tracks over here. And this guy will notice and make his way over. Right? Good stuff. Let's pull back over here. Let's pull Kate back as well. And just gotta wait for him to spot this. In we go. Oh, hey, hello. Did not realize he notices things that far off. Okay, I see. I have to be a little bit higher. Alright, no big deal. No big deal. Come on down here. I guess I want to aim more like around these parts. Yeah. Right up there. That'll be good. Cool. Just slightly m misplaced. No big deal. Alright, so he's gonna go in, take a peek. Fool that he is. You don't even have to wait until he gets blinded. Uh, just felt like doing it, I guess. <laughs> it's good to wait until he interacts with the bag, because that way you can pick it up in one swoop as you uh, take him out. Alright. Now, we move on down to here. Let's get... Um, I typically like to use McCoy for the kill, because when he's dragging bodies, he stays low. And we need Cooper here for the coin. We want to make sure that this guy over here who cycles back and forth, you want to make sure he's not looking over, because he will spot the action go down if he is. Just keep an eye on him, get the coin ready as well. As soon as he gets busy over there, like he's doing right now, you go ahead and toss that, and go in like this. And all you need to do... Let's get back down here. Oh my god. Okay, cool. <laughs> we're good. Now we're able to move. Gotta hide that body in the bush. You don't actually have to, but I just... There are some bodies that I leave behind and some that make me very nervous. This is one that makes me nervous. Alright. So at this point, we move Cooper over to here. Get Kate up to here. Now, she if she gets spotted stealing the dress, then there's going to be trouble. So we don't want to do that. You just kind of get up to the edge over here. Um, point at the ready. And pick up the dress. Takes a couple of seconds, but you're good. And that's just the instructions telling us that we're actually able to now get guards to follow us. Which is going to be um, important at times. Beautiful. Oh right, I guess I didn't use the disguise for the wedding um, venue mission, so this is going to be a little different. Oh, this is going to be the first time you all see disguises in action, which is going to be fun. Alright, so, Kate basically now is able to do whatever she wants, uh, but she can get spotted and recognized by long coats, and, um, and her, her like, tricks, her, like, flirting and stuff, they don't work on, uh, women. Which is why the game is very specific about gunman and gun woman. Um, so let's go ahead and move up over here, and the first thing we're going to do is... But this guy to come hither. Hither? Hither. Alright. 
move up. So now he's going to follow us for a little bit. Right up to there. We're going to get a coin ready. Any second now. And we are good. There we go. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Again, it's an accident, so they don't think it's a problem. It's just a lot better when this guy notices and he goes up. And then you can kill him very easily. But it's not the end of the world. They're, they're, they're relatively easy to take care of. I'm gonna wait until he stops investigating. And speed time up a little bit. Alright, cool. Done, done, and he's done. Go ahead and quick save that. Now, let's go ahead and take care of these two first. So wait until this guy gets involved over there. There's no one else watching over here. It's just these two. Go ahead and move on down. And again, things are a little more complicated than they have to be because we're trying to get the dynamite stick from both spots, right? Just as a reminder. Go ahead. I want to make sure this guy doesn't see this go down. I got a few tricks in here. I guess we got to take care of him first. All right, fair enough. Go ahead and take care of him first. No big deal, no big deal. Move up, just staying wide of this guy's vision cones, basically. Alright. We can get you over here. We can get you flirting. So when we're flirting, he's going to look in one direction. That's going to allow us to come through. Let's see. When we come through, make sure this guy's not able to see this go down. We got places to be. You're giving me ideas. All right, down he goes. Now it's loud enough for this guy to hear it. Ah, oh, goddamn. A little bit trickier than I would have liked. He's able to see up there as well. Interesting. Okay. Things are a little different. Things are a little different. So, fair enough. Here's what we'll do. Go up over here. Flirt with this guy. And fine, we'll take care of these guys first. Since we're already down here. No, no, keep flirting. Move down to here. Take care of this guy first, and then drop that guy. Do a quick save here. Oh. Wait until he's busy. There we go. Now this guy goes. Now this guy goes. Nice and easy. All right, cool. Well, this actually worked out for the better because now I can show you what I was going for with the knife throw up over here. Um, basically, when I go to throw my knife. You can see the radius around which the sound emanates. This guy will be able to hear it, and he's going to come and investigate. So, let's move you back over there, and let's get that knife throwing. See, he notices. He's going to make his way over. We're going to pick our knife back up. And as he comes through, down he goes. Down he goes. Looks like the timing is like made for it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and regroup everybody over here. So, we've cleared everybody out over here. Again, we don't have to hide any of the bodies. Uh, they won't get spotted or anything like that. We don't have to worry about it. Quick save over here. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things. First, with Kate. So, Kate, we're going to send you through. These ladies aren't going to fall for my charms. I'll need to be careful. Look at all this. The defect company is richer than Croesus. Speaking of which... Weren't you under contract with the company? Still would be. No bastards ever bothered paying for the train job. Well, look at that. They're using dynamite. There must be more where that came from. That hut looks promising, but I bet it's locked up. I don't need a few seconds to pick the lock. Just be sure and cover my back. I better not let that long coat see me. I know I'm up to something. I sense a plan coming up. So, <laughs> that basically described everything we wanted to do over here. Got Kate up to here, made sure the long coat can't see us. You want to make sure this poncho is not looking our way either. You want to stay crouched, and you go ahead and interact with that. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. Not my problem. Um, so he's going to stay up there. You want to stay hidden over here because the long coat will be able to see you around these parts. So to make sure you don't get spotted, you just wait for the investigations to complete because I feel a bit better that way. He's going to go in and investigate as well, and that's fine. 
Just wait for all that to get done before you dive into action again. Yeah, again, it's an accident, so it's fine. No one's gonna, exactly, how the hell did that happen is all he says. No one's gonna actually think there's, uh, you know, murder afoot or anything like that. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna dive down with Kate. And see, there's the gunwoman over here, and this gunman typically stands over here. We're gonna want to distract him so we can finish this gunwoman off, hide her body, and then pull this guy over to finish him off as well. And we'll be good. These guys, they're all irrelevant. None of this stuff matters. None of that stuff matters. It's only there to distract you. Let's wait for him. Speed time up a little bit. Don't have to keep rambling. <laughs> Alright, good. He's done. Now we can go ahead and quick save again. Leave with Kate. Down we go. And right up to over here. Start flirting with this gunman. Alright. Now this is a gunwoman. So that means she will get distracted by, um, by our bag. Now actually what I could do, what I probably should do. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and toss the bag over from this side. All right. Up goes the bag. You're going to notice as she gets closer and closer, we'll be able to go through the door over here. All right, in we go. And... Down goes the gunwoman. And into our little hidey hole over here with her. Cool. Nice and easy. No one notices. No one knows. None the wiser. All right, cool. Quick save that again. And now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we're tucked in over there. Drop the bag down. Well, let's just check first. Let this guy go free of our charms. Yeah, we can go ahead and toss the bag. I'm pretty sure over here is a safe spot for it. Let time go forward a little bit, and as he's going to have that conversation with his friend over here, he's going to notice the bag. He's going to make his way over. Go ahead and take care of him before we do anything else. We get closer and closer, and let him interact. Down he goes. I just let him interact so we can pick up the bag at the same time. You don't have to. But I find it's a little bit faster, or at least I feel like it's a bit faster. All right, so with this taken care of, we're actually going to quick save again. And... Hmm. I guess we could tackle this area first. Sure, let's let's tackle getting the dynamite from the uh, the shed up over here first. All right, so let's go ahead and get both of you through here. All right, up we go. This is also a slightly complicated area, only because of how many moving parts there are. Um, not as complicated as the bridge, though. Not as intense as the bridge, I would say. We should be able to hide into the little bushes over here. As long as we time our movements properly, we should be fine here. There we go. Buddy's going to move back up to there. This guy's going to move from side to side over here. Buddy over here, he keeps moving a very short distance, but that short distance make a, makes a world of difference. Because when he comes down to this corner over here, he is in a blind spot from basically everybody. No one can see him. This guy can't see him. Right? Uh, well, some of these guys would be able to see him, but you want to deal with him almost close to last basically well i'll show you oh, i didn't know she pulls out a fan what do you know all right so first things first quick save because you can never quick save too many times i'm gonna go ahead and flirt with buddy over here have him looking this way with mccoy i'm gonna toss the bag down over here and the reason for that is because we want this guy to notice that bag, come on over here. We want him to be out of vision of this gunman and of this poncho up there as well. That's what we're trying to manage over here. And we also have to be wary of this poncho eventually. Not just quite yet, but eventually he becomes a bit of a threat for us as well. Uh, this guy also. Like, there's a lot of moving parts over here. Alright, cool. He spotted the bag. This guy. We're just out of his vision as well, as you can see. We should be good over here. Again, we're going to wait for him to interact just so we can pick the bag up at the same time. There's the interaction. And we... That guy can spot us too. <laughs> right. Let's go. Like I said, lots of moving parts. Do the flirting. All right, get the bag down over here. Speed time up a little bit. Just wait for him to spot it. Well, we want to time our move properly. We can always use our coin for an extra bit of distraction if need be. This is the guy that spotted us, right? Yeah. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. We can't kill him at the same time. Too many eyes are on him at once. We do have our coin. If I need to use it. 
No, he did not notice the bag this time. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Honestly, I'm tempted to just go in and... Uh... Nope. This is my impatience at play. I just go, let me try it out. I didn't try it before. There's a reason why I didn't try it before. Alright, let's go ahead and toss this bag down. Probably the best way to get me to restart rather than push that to uh, no avail. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. We could also slow him down over here as well. What we can do is we can flirt with Buddy here instead. Get him looking up that way. Because this guy goes up and he looks up that way. Well, this should work in our favor. As long as this guy sees the bag, we're good. Hopefully I didn't push it too far down. That's my only concern. In which case we just have to go and get it again. Nope, we're good. Alright, keep an eye on this guy's viewing cone. And McCoy, are you ready? For this guy to turn around. We're good. Oh, god damn. A literal split second that we're not good. Alright. If we go over here. We just need him looking away. It doesn't matter where exactly he is looking away. Bag. Down over here. Let's get our coin at the ready as well. For when the time comes. Speed time up. I don't want to quick save after I have the bag deployed in case things aren't going to go smoothly. But I do hope he spots it. He better spot the bag. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's right. Be curious, my friend. Be curious. Closer, closer, closer. All right. Down he goes. Coin up over there. Keep him looking that way. Good stuff. Now we gotta pick the bag up. I was a little early there, but no big deal. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Alright, job done over there. Now this guy and see up over here. We want to take care of this guy next. That's my typical approach. So we're gonna go ahead and get Cooper going down this way. Wait until this guy's looking over and he's busy. We should be good now. Oh no, keep going. This guy cannot see this far. We, wanna go, we don't want to go too far either because this guy will be able to spot us if we go too far. There we go, he turns around. Now we're in the clear. Well, we wait until he's taken his leak and then we're in the clear. And boom. Down he goes. Oh, come on. Beautiful. Very close. All right. Knife's back in our pocket. This guy has to be killed when he's up over here. Because that's this guy's blind spot. It is, I believe, also this guy's blind spot. Yep. And this guy's blind spot, too. All right. So, we'll get him in the next circle. Next cycle, rather. I'm going to go ahead and hide Cooper up over here. We should be in the clear to get up there. Yeah, we are. Good stuff. Good stuff. Up you go. Over here. Again, we're going to just wait a little bit. Again, we can distract him and pull him towards this bush as well if we want to, but I don't think we need to. They didn't hear. All right. Good stuff. We'll just wait for him to get into the right spot. Give the order as he's looking away. Down he goes. And again, it's important to be using McCoy, not Cooper, um, to at least drag the bodies around because he stays low. So no one's going to be able to see him, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're good over here. That's that taken care of. Nice. Uh, now we can also get this guy to follow us. I uh, should be able to get him far enough along. Start on the wrong side of him, maybe. Oh, come on. Okay, definitely not going to work out. Not this time around, at least. Let's see how far we can get him. That's too bad. It doesn't help that we were on the wrong side of him for the for the start of it. That's okay. He's going to come down to over here, right? I don't remember where I can plant the bag. Here is not a good idea because there are too many people watching this area. Come on, dude. Come down. Come down towards me. Goes up that way. He loops around that way. I should be able. Well, actually, this guy's viewing angle is pretty far. Pulls this guy's. Yeah, they have that space covered. Alright. He's gonna get spotted. Alright. Keep him interested in the right direction. 
Follow me. Follow me. Up to here. Let's go. And... Problem solved. A little too far over. What I get for getting cocky. Get to the right side. Call you over. Let's not go as far this time around. There we go. Just up to there. And again, you want to stay low. There's too many people watching over here. Down you go. That should do the trick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Back over here, staying low. Drop the body off. Now we got to take care of these two guys at the same time. We have to be wary of this poncho. We have to be wary of this poncho as well. All right, so drop that body off. Let's quick save that again. And now, hey, all the way up to here. All the way up to here. Same time, we're going to move people in the... Well, let's do this one step at a time. It's a lot easier when I'm also doing commentary. <laughs> so, all right, Poncho taken care of. He's looking that way. This guy can be a bit of a problem, but if he's doing his thing over here, he doesn't look our way, and if he's walking away, he doesn't look our way. So that's what we got to wait for. Buddy over here can't see us if we're crouching back over there. Buddy over here has a blind spot over here as well. So, Cooper... Gonna move right up to there. Right on the corner over here. Alright. Keep an eye on this poncho as well. Let's get uh, McCoy ready to move too. I believe we're safe up to here. Yeah. Safe up to here. We want to kind of just sneak around. And there's a blind spot for both of them up over here that we want to get into. Alright. Go, let's go, let's go. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Alright, we're good. This poncho's gonna look away. That allows us to get up to here. And. Pass, there we go, and into that blind spot. Alright, good stuff. Quick save it over here, just to make sure we're not going to get spotted. What we want to do is we want to synchronize this kill and this kill. We want to make sure the poncho is not able to see us at the same time. And this guy needs to be walking away. Looking away. It's cute. Ah, that was a little, little missed time there. All good, all good. All good. Um, let's just nudge a little bit closer, shall we? Other options, obviously, to throw the knife instead. Why not? Boy. There we go. Gotta wait for this poncho to look away. That guy's looking away as well. And execute. Down go both bodies. We're good. All right. I'll just tuck in over here. Now, this guy's not able to see anything because these get, these bodies are low, so he's not able to spot them. Quick save that again. And let's go ahead and move on up. Now, this guy isn't able to see anything that happens over here either, which is wonderful for us. Uh, let's see. Pull McCoy up as well. But he's looking up that way. Problem is, he turns around... And he looks towards us, doesn't he? Well, he stays looking that way for a while. Unfortunately, he's spottable. The kill would be spotted. Alright, so he comes into here. And up we go at the same time. There we go. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hearts in my throat, but we got the job done. Alright, Kate. You're going to move up over here. So this is the danger zone because the um, long coat's around this area. We want to make sure he doesn't spot us. First step is to get up over here. Flirt with this guy. And we shouldn't have any trouble in just dropping this guy with the throwing knife. If I'm not mistaken. Beautiful. And go ahead and pick that knife up. Now over here, things are very interesting. Using the uh, dynamite... Oh, not the dynamite, sorry. But... Um, Killing three guards at the same time in a quarry explosion involves triggering this, uh, uh, trigger, I guess. To get there, though, we have to get rid of this guard and this guard. We have to make sure this guy's not able to see it happen. This guy can't be watching. And, uh, this lady over here as well can't be watching. And then you've got these guards who are kind of cycling back and forth. There is a lot going on in this area. So, first of all, we're just going to quick save it again. Uh, we are able to send Kate... Up this way, we want to make sure, again, the long coat doesn't spot us, because that is trouble for us. And we're good. 
Up goes Kate. If we could only thin out the herd a little. Well, there's always the dynamite. That's a tad extreme, don't you think? Desperate times, desperate measures. Desperate times, desperate measures indeed. We're gonna make our way over. Hop over. Get to this guy's other side. Flirt with him. That allows us to drop this poncho. No one sees. Now, you want to wait until the dynamite goes off, depending on your timing, right? You wait for the dynamite to go off because this guy's over here. It will kill you, otherwise. Up we go. Up we go over here. Finish buddy off. All right, down he goes. Now, both of us will stay down because if the long coat spots Kate in her disguise, the disguise is, uh, you know, worthless. Push up to over here, and now it's McCoy's time to shine. Let's save that again. Done pretty well so far. Want to get McCoy all the way up to the shrubs over there. And things are going to get real tight. This is another section where the timing can be a little uh, daunting. There's a lot of adapting to evolving situations as well. All right, the long coat goes back out. He's, he fiddles with the lock and stuff over here for a bit. Then he rushes back out, plants the dynamite. And that's kind of your window to pull everything off. Except these guys are over here. You want to wait until these guys leave. Um, so we're going to go ahead and... I just want to see what kind of uh, cycle synchronization we have right now. We can't really send Kate across. I mean, I could go up this way if I want to. Sure. Let's go for it. Normally, I just run her across this way, but you obviously can't do that when the long coat's looking, but our timings are a little different this time around than my usual. Hop down over here. And down over here. Stay low. We want to make sure the long coat doesn't spot us. In there, all right. Boom. <laughs> no big deal. The conversation's hilarious. All right, so I think this is gonna be it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna flirt with this poncho to get him to look elsewhere. We're going to toss a coin to distract this gun woman. We're gonna go in with McCoy, kill this guy, and throw a knife to kill this gun woman at the same time. So let's go. Well, actually, not yet. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. This poncho needs to... Or this, uh... Long coat needs to leave. Because I'm pretty sure he looks down this way on his way out. Does he? He does not. Alright, well. We're still fine. Talk with Buddy over here. These guys are over here. That's fine. That's fine. She's within range of the coin and the knife. Let's get McCoy moving up ever so slightly. And we don't want to get spotted over here. And now we're able to make our move. Cross the coin. Down they both go. Pop the trigger over here. There's our badge. Pick up the knife. Alright. Now you just gotta be careful over here, you don't want to get spotted. You don't want to get spotted, you want to get these guys taken care of as they're roaming around. Come on now, come on now. Let's save it. Nothing's going to go wrong anymore. Oh, uh, well, certainly feels like things could go wrong. They're just going to get back to work. You're going to see all the dead bodies, which is why we can't leave them alive. Alright, he's going to come around. You'll notice that instead. Fine by me. Send you up this way. That's that problem solved. And let's go in and take care of this guy too. Good stuff. Go ahead and pick up our knife. Okay. I'm gonna drop the body. Take care of this guy. The knife's been picked up. McCoy's gonna take care of this guy as well. Down goes the poncho. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna go ahead and send Hooper over this way to take care of this guy. Let's just quick save it again. Toss our knife up there. McCoy has got to take care of the lock. In we go. Come on now. Normally he's able to throw his knife from like down over here. I don't know what. I don't know why. Come on. I guess it was a matter of timing. Come on. This is hilarious. 
Come on now. This is really funny, actually. I've never had this happen. Oh, okay, sure. You know what? That's how the game's gonna play it. And then let it be. Stole the knife from point blank. Down we go. And that just helps us not have to worry about him down over here, basically. Alright, so that's that taken care of. The, the lock has been picked as well, so we can come on in. Pick up the dynamite. That'll do. Alright. One bundle of dynamite. Now, back to the bridge. We're good partners, don't you think? Partners is a strong word, miss. They'll come now, Mr. Cooper. Us, together, against the world. Well, after this, it'll be you alone and back safely at your ranch. Yeah. Uh, just the banter. It's just all so well written. It's all so well written. Anyway, so yeah, uh, we gotta pick up the bag and now we can make our moves over here. I'm pretty sure no one's able to spot us as we make our transition. So at this point, you can just go back to the bridge. The next little segment you're going to see is specifically for if you want to get both badges for getting the dynamite at the same time. Um, so that was, that was getting the uh, dynamite from the quarry. Now I'm going to show you getting the dynamite from the uh, shooting range over here. It's not very complicated, but... Uh, Part of it will involve helping make sure we don't have to use guns. It, it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, so it's all going through here. Get everybody down over here. It's also going to involve the uh, other badge about using logs to kill people. Uh, so best to, I would say best to watch the whole thing, if I'm completely honest. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and move up to here. We're going to get McCoy up over here. Let's just quick save it again. Save us time if things go sideways. McCoy up, 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 up. Now, this gun woman over here is able to see up to here. So from up over here, we're going to toss the bag uh, right up to about there. She's going to spot that, make her way over. The long coat can't see up there, and this gunman can't see up there either. It's great. All right, so we're just going to wait for her to come through and for her cone of vision to narrow. And we're going to hop down. Grab her. We do want to move this body. Again, we don't have to hide it, but we want to move it. So I'll pull it all the way back up to here. Uh, actually, how far can you see? Yeah, let's go ahead and tuck it over here. All right. No objections then here. I'm going to quick save again. This guy's viewing angles go pretty far. I'm going to go ahead and toss the bag outside of the long coat's viewing angle, which is really anything over here. So let's go ahead and toss the bag over there. Wait for the cycle. He's going to notice. That's why you want to move the body. Because otherwise this guy will spot that body. Now he goes through, he's going to mess with the bag. And we don't even need to pick his body up. I just held control out of habit. Grab it out a little bit just because it's making me nervous. Alright, cool. Done. Now to get back up, we have to go back through this door. Let's quick save that again. Plus this area cleared out a little bit. Makes it easier for us to traverse through. Now let's go ahead and get you all the way down here, buddy. And as he's making his way down, let's go to Cooper, who's going to clear this space out. When it's time for Hector to dive in, Hector dives in over here. If you don't clear this area out, it's super crowded, and I don't think it's possible to not use the shotgun. Uh, so in order to avoid using any firearms, we have to do this with Cooper. Uh, so let's quick save that again. All we're going to do is going to move on over, find this blind spot. We're going to move up there. And it's a pretty tense situation, but it's not the end of the world. It's not very... This is, the timing is all that matters over here. You just basically want to toss this right on over. You're going to look away. You're going to run on over. All right, cool. Done. Because, again, we cannot kill the long coats because that involves using a gun. Or Hector, but Hector's not here. Now, over here, we need to sneak on through when this gunman's down over here. All right, so we're just going to wait for him to get busy. Like that. We're going to push through. Get right up against that, and then you want to wait until this guy is in that red circle. Don't want to pull the trigger on this too early. That will not work out for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Turn around, you know you want to. And... Down he goes. Get the coin ready. His buddy comes over to pick him up. Fine, he says get up. Try and get this guy up. Gonna toss another coin. Down he goes again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! If he nudges over, just... Yeah, okay, fine. Fine. 
just need an eye for you. Bring it on. I'll take We're fine. Come on. Nah, we're not fine. This is this was not ideal. As you can probably tell by me going in drop silent. Let's wait for this guy to come down over here again. Here's what we'll do. Go ahead, pop this door open. Be able to drop this guy. On, pull back over here. Get ready for this guy to come through. Come on now, come on now. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Down he goes. Get the knife at the ready. Toss the knife. Tie this guy up. Done. These guys are too preoccupied with themselves. And that's not, uh, not being polite. <laughs> they literally are preoccupied with themselves. Right, let's go ahead and quick save that again. Now over here, what we want to do is, uh, they are actually looking at each other though. So you want to kind of toss the coin, distract this guy, like say so. He looks away. Kill this guy, pick the body up right away. And then rush on over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down goes the body. All right, cool. Now over here, toss the knife. Let's go. This part's easy now. We just leave these bodies as they are, pick up the knife, finish this. Well, faster to just go in and stab him. And being on this side is super helpful as well for the next stage of heading to the um, shooting range. So I think actually we'll leave Cooper up over here for now. Make our way over to Kate. So Kate's going to stay low, stay low, stay low. Because again, this guy will see us unless we're crouching. Uh, he'll see right through that disguise. We're able to go right past. You cannot go, as much as there are stairs over here, you can't use them because there's a long coat over here as well. Uh, so yeah, we have to just walk across. Gotta get out of this range over here. Keep going, keep going. Alright. It, yeah, we're, so let's push on through. But well, things get really complicated over here again, but uh, nah, still not as complicated as a bridge, I would say. Now I'm curious as well, as always, folks, if you had your own solutions, don't hesitate to share them because I am very curious about alternate ways of, of doing a variety of things in this game. Um, so I, I'd be curious to hear. And if you found out something new through my approach, let me know as well, because that's always fun. That kind of sharing is always fun. All right, buddy's looking over this way. We're going to wait for him to look away, and then Kate's going to make her way down. So this is in an attempt to get the uh, badge for the logs to kill people. You don't want to get shot over here, by the way, because that will undo your disguise. All right, there we go. We're good. And now we can make our way down over here, no problem. We want to drop these logs onto people when they're in this area. You want to stay low when you're doing it, otherwise you will get spotted. And unfortunately... Uh, our timing is off. You want to drop those logs basically as soon as these guys arrive over there. Uh, and you want to stay low because otherwise you will get spotted by, I think this guy notices you messing with stuff you're not supposed to be messing with. So stay low uh, and then wait for these guys to finish their cycle. Come back up over here and then you drop them. Cooper stays up where he's staying right now. No problem with that. All right, in we go. They arrive and undo the logs. There we go. Beautiful. Done. Nothing to worry about. Nothing else needs doing over here. These guys are... They think it's a, an accident, so they don't care. So we're good. Alright. So I like to do that ahead of time so I don't forget or have to worry about it afterwards. We can go ahead and quick save now. We want to get past this long coat again because we got to get back in here to help clear this space out which is going to be a Cooper Kate production. Oh God, he almost shot me. All right, so let's go ahead and bring Cooper using this to get up on top over here. I'm going up to take a look. Keep your eyes peeled. Do you always wear such tight jeans, Mr. Cooper? Beg your pardon? Just keeping my eyes peeled. Love it. Stop to your banter. All right, we're going to hop on over there. This guy has a blind spot up over here. Let's go. We can actually, to be safe, toss a coin. Dump down, dump down, jump down over here. Stab this guy, pick the body up, go into that bush, drop down. One down. These guys keep circling around, that's fine by me, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Over here again, we're going to do a coin toss and kill. Relatively easy to pull off, just wait for these guys to leave the area. Want to make sure they don't hear us or spot us as we 
Toss the coin. Have him turn around. Let's hurry it up. There is a bush over here as well to hide that body, so that's not going to be a problem for us. There we go. Nice and easy. Cool. Keep this guy preoccupied. We'll deal with these three afterwards. They're all looking at each other, so there's a specific order you want to kind of go through. Um, at least I've found. Maybe there's other ways to do it as well. We're going to wait for these guys to get past. And... Oh. Move Kate over to here. That body up. I'm gonna hide it up over here as well. And then we can rush on over to here. Get up over here. All right. Kate's gonna flirt with. Whoops. Kate's gonna flirt with this guy. Not blind him. We're going to jump down over to here. Come on out. Kill this guy. Pick the body up and hide him up over there as well. Let's go. There we go. Nice and easy. Done. All right. Wait for these guys to cycle around. Go ahead and quick save that. This is nothing, darling. We want to do what? We want to go ahead and. I don't remember the order. Uh, all right, let's go up over this way. Right, right. I remember now. There's th this again because I'm doing more than absolutely necessary. There's so many moving parts in this level. I just want to make sure that I got everything uh, right. Let's quick save that again. So this guy's not looking up here anymore, so we're able to, as soon as these guys leave, we're able to jump down and finish this gunman off, right? So let's go ahead, hop on down, finish this gunman off, pick his body up, and just move behind these guys. They're not going to look back. They're not going to notice us. So we're pretty free to move in. Just want to make sure you don't get too close, because otherwise your footsteps will alert them. So down goes that body. Quick save it. Let's rush down over here now. And same thing over here. Drop him, pick the body up. And just follow these guys. Okay. No need to get adventurous. Just stay behind them. No need to try and cut the corner over here. Unless you're speed running, I suppose. In which case, I don't know why you take this route. <laughs> um, there's faster ways to do this. Right, let's go up. And we hide the body like so. Let's get going. Go back down to here. And now, slow it down. Right, now we're going to get Cooper up over here for the next phase. All right. Up he goes. Okay. We're fine. Quick save that. All right. Get you out over here. Now, how do I want to play this? So, this guy, this poncho, keeps going around between these guys to uh, have conversations with them all. He's got a couple of blind spots, and when Kate distracts the person that he's talking to, they both get distracted. Like, they both get to flirting. We're going to move Kate down to over here. I want to get Cooper down. And up over here to kill this guy because he's watching over this area as well. Keep blind spot over here so we can jump down, walk over. You got to stay low though because this guy will spot you otherwise. But you get down over here and you climb that ladder. No one's. Okay. We're good. Down goes buddy. The climbing is so quick that he did this. Again, this is on Desperado difficulty, so it's the fastest reaction time the game has. Let's quick save over here. Kate. Ah, damn. A little too slow. All good. Ooh. Let's keep moving. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. All right, McCoy. Pull you over. Again, you got to avoid this guy's gaze, right? Go ahead and pull over. Quick save it, why not? We're going to get you right up to there without being spotted. What I want to do... What I want to do is wait for this poncho to talk to this gunman. Then I want to distract him. That's what we'll do. So, okay. Get ready. And by distract, I mean flirt. We wait for them to start talking. Begin the flirting. You see they're both enraptured by our beauty. Now over here, McCoy. Let's get you up into those bushes. Right up to there. The timings on this can be a little funny, so we're going to quick save it. I want to go ahead and have these kind of plotted out. And the knife throw over here. These guys are not looking over here. And as soon as he looks away, we want to execute. Down he goes. Ah, no. This time that. Okay. We're much better off actually just doing the commands ourselves. I find it I'm much faster at clicking than I am at showdowns. Especially on Desperado. There. So much better. <laughs> it's so much better. Now these guys are taken care of. That's nice and easy. They're still distracted. You, you kind of need the disguise for this level. It's not like the wedding one where you can kind of just ignore it. 
Uh, at least I don't think you can do the stubble without the... Oh, you probably can. Uh, I haven't tried yet. Alright. Quick save it again just in case I cactus suck. Go in up there and go in over here. Oh, down they go. The red on that dress is probably mostly blood at this point. Alright, so the reason for all this is because McCoy needs to get down here to pick the lock into that uh, storage area. Now the timing over here is actually perfect because we want to kind of push through here as these guys are going up that way. And you can rush this, but I'm going to play it safe I'm recording and I try to avoid having a quick load as much as possible when I'm recording. Oh, let's go up, let's go up. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Get everybody low actually because just in case the long coat spots us. And things do get very interesting around these parts. Things get very interesting around these parts. Oh dear. Alright, cool. We're good. Go ahead, quick save that. Kate, this is your chance to get down over here. Let's go. Because we need to distract this poncho because he's always looking up top over there. Can't have that happening. Let's hide her for now. Let's go ahead and get... Whoops. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and get Cooper spotted. Alright. Kate. Yeah, you gotta remember, these people are still up there. I gotta remember, those people are still up there. Alright, so let's go ahead and hide for now. Wait for these guys to... ...do their thing, and then we can move on over. Should be fine over here in terms of timings. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Up to there, we gotta hide over here, because this long coat would spot us otherwise. Make our, make our way over, make sure this guy doesn't spot us, because he does have a little spot back there that he can see at. Alright, go ahead and quick save that again. Pull Kate over to this side. Uh, actually, pull him over to this. Pull her over to this side. Distract that poncho. Toss the coin over here. Kill this guy. Pick his body up. And hide the body over there. And then we want to get back over here. This guy's going to notice his friend is missing. And he's going to get very curious about that. That's fine. We got to move Kate away. Because when this long coat turns around, he might spot her. Pull her down over there. Now these guys are unfortunately, so this guy can see that guy, unfortunately, and these guys can see each other as well. So there's a bit of a, a love triangle going on over here. When these guys turn around, they can see this guy as well. There's a lot going on over here, actually. So we need to get McCoy involved to try and draw this guy away from his spot. So I just got to give it a minute over here. And we're almost done, by the way, folks. I know this episode is going to be a little bit longer than some of the last ones, but we're almost done. We're very close to it. So hang in there. If you're still wondering how long there is left, uh, we've accomplished most of the badges. Alright, so he's decided his buddies, I don't know, in the washroom or something. I guess I could move in right now. Ah, I was a little slow on that. All good. Probably am still able to get down here, actually. What's life without some risks, right? Alright, cool. Over here, keep moving. Again, be wary of this guy's viewing cone. In we go. Alright. Go ahead and pop this up over there. Toss a coin over here to keep these guys distracted. Take care of this guy. Oh, damn. Right. Forgot about... Close. Close. Move up to there. Move up to there. Let's go. Now I'm getting impatient. No objections here. Yeah, let's go. We got this. This is this is this is the one. All right, let's go. We're good. Are you trying to miss hey. hit Move you up to here. Crucial element I forgot last time. Go ahead and toss the bag up there. Point ready over here. And toss the coin. Get you up there. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry it up. In the bush. Hide you. All right. Good stuff. It's about to leave. Away we go. All right. Go ahead and save that. Toss the coin again. These guys distracted. Should be able to. Actually, he's pretty quick to respond after a coin toss. Go ahead and quick save that again, because I'm about to make a break for it. Alright, we're good. Okay, so, now we want to wait until these guys are shooting at the shed again. Um, you know, potentially... <laughs> or they're shooting at the targets over here, but... Honestly, the... Really shows their intelligence. It's on full display over here. 
Uh, so we wait for this guy to turn around and make his walk towards there. And that's when we move down to here, because we want to take care of Buddy over here. And we need to take care of this guy as well, actually. We need to take care of that guy as well. Okay. For now, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Uh, take care of him first. Fair enough. It's easy, because the long coat's going to look away. These guys are going to be firing. No one's going to notice this and go down. This should be easy. I want to make sure this guy's not looking the right direction. Alright. That should be that. That problem solved. Down goes the body. For this guy to not be around these parts anymore. Gotta get Kate out of there. There we go. No, this is not our cycle. It is. One way to find out is to rush it. Hey, we made it. <laughs> we made it. All right, cool. Um, so now we can go ahead and distract Buddy here. Just to keep him distracted. Let these guys turn around. Let that guy go up over there. Head down this way. Pick this body up. Try and drop him off right around here. We want to make sure we don't get spotted. There are people that can spot you. Ah, oh, damn. Probably might look a little too hard there. We're fine. Now we've lost our timing over here, unfortunately. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and flirt with you. We'll do things a little differently this time around. Go and quick save it over here, since we've made it. Make our... Let's just wait. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Alright, they're gonna turn around, he's gonna turn around, he's gonna get going that way. Alright, let's move. Pick you up with her. She stays low. Let's pull you over there. Let's put that knife back up, too. We're gonna move all the way down to there. McCoy will stay there for now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Come on up. Drop the body. Save that as well. Alright, McCoy. Guess we wait here. There we go. Alright. You up to here. Keep these guys distracted. Work on this lock at the same time. Get those coins at the ready. And toss another one. Keep them distracted. Okay. Able to come through. Pick up the dynamite. Huh. That's wild. Why didn't you trigger my um dynamite from the shooting range? Maybe it's only the first time you uh, get both of them at the same, in the same playthrough. But the badge should pop up. I mean, it has it in the past. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. Well, nonetheless, now you know if you're going to be running two separate runs, how to get the dynamite from either spot. Uh, now we need to get back to the bridge and uh, get all of our kills, right? So to do that, we're going to wait until this conversation starts up again. It's just the easiest to wait for that before we... Oh, no, 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 no. We want these guys to turn around. Get involved in that conversation. There we go. Now we leave. Okay, out we go. We can go up that way. Damn. I knew that was going to happen. There's got to be a bit more patient. Let's go. Just said I got to be more patient than I did that. Come on now. Patience, Parsh. Patience. Going down here. Let's regroup. We're just moving together. It's just safer that way. Less moving pieces to worry about. Alright, they're all shooting this way. We'll go around this way. We can actually go up behind them if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna try that, which is why you saw that quick save happen. Should be able to sneak on by. Yeah, excellent. A little missed time there. Just what I had in mind. Split second of hesitation there. I just need a few seconds. Sure, knock okay. 
There we go. Let's go. When in doubt, throw the coin out, right? All right, we're good over here. So, now we gotta circle around, get out over here, and just head towards the bridge. No big deal. The rest of this level is pretty easy, unless I continue to be hyper impatient. Should be good to leave. Uh, actually, we're not. These guys are about to round the bend over there. We're definitely not good to leave. This conversation starts. We're gonna wait for these guys to round the bend. We're gonna wait for these guys to rotate as well. There we go, because we've got enough of a gap over here to sneak by. Up we go, round we go. Through the door we go. Alright, cool. We're good. We are good. Gotta stay low though, and just remember this long coat is still up there. He is still able to spot us if we make a silly move, like standing with Kate, so you don't want to do that. I want to make sure this gun woman doesn't spot us either. We should be fine now. Moving, keep moving. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Wonderful. Up to here. Now, taking care of the bridge itself is pretty easy. Well, it's not a, not a big deal. Up this way and up over to here. I'll stay low. Kate, we can move quickly. There is a long coat in this area who goes, has a conversation with this guy, comes up over here, has a conversation with this guy. Are you sure you're a good enough shot to hit that fuse? Watch and learn, Mr. Cooper. Sorry, I was interrupting their conversation there. So yeah, this guy keeps cycling back and forth. We want to need, we need to make sure that Kate doesn't get spotted by him. Um, and uh, and she's the one we want to have the to have planting the dynamite because it's easiest for her. But first, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this poncho over here. Have him looking this way. We want to eliminate this guy because he's always kind of patrolling around the top of this, so he's able to spot you when you try to set up your shot. Um, and yes, I did say shot. More on that in a bit. We want to make sure, though, that you kill him outside of this guy's viewing comb. That's why we're floating with this guy as well, because otherwise he would have been able to see it happen. So we want to make sure that it happens right around here. Good stuff. I'm going to hop down, pick up my knife. There we go. I'm going to move on over. I want to eliminate this guy as well, just because he's got viewing angles that make me uncomfortable. Not that it matters for Kate, if I'm completely honest, but uh, I like being thorough, I guess. Let this guy come through. He's gonna have a conversation with him. No big deal. And they're gonna talk. So you don't want him to be dead yet. At the same time, well, we want to get rid of this guy before we stop the flirting over here. All right, finish this guy off. Down he goes. Kate, live down with you. Come on now. We want to make sure the long coat doesn't spot us as, as well. Okay. Down you go. Excellent. All right, let's go around the long coat. Up down this way. I find it's the fastest way. Go, let's go, let's go. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Up over here. Control click the little box over here. Package delivered. All right then. Sure show, Doc. I suggest we head somewhere with a good view. All right. You want to stay crouched in this corner because this guy is going to look on over. The long coat's going to look over after his conversation, and he might spot you if you're standing. So you wait for this conversation to finish, then you make your move. There you go. And you don't have to worry about you know, anybody else, right? And we got four bodies up there, one body over here. We should be good. Go ahead and keep pulling you over. We can go up that way as well. Let's go ahead and quick save. Why not? Alright, wait for this conversation to start before you kind of rush it. What's in that shed down there? Looks like storage. Might be a good idea to stock up. Yeah, this place is gonna be all fire and brimstone in a few minutes. If we find dynamite in there, I'm gonna be angry. They Probably my favorite line in this level. If we find dynamite in there, I'm gonna be angry. Y you don't, by the way. You There's no dynamite in there. All right, let's quick save it. Now, this is the one gunshot you're allowed, which was very confusing to me. And I was wondering how to accomplish this without using a firearm in this section, because McCoy has to shoot the dynamite. And I was like, well, what's the other way of doing this? So this is another reason this episode was so delayed, because I was I spent so long just not doing this, because I was like, no, no, that can't be it. Should have just experimented with it. But this this gunshot does not count, folks. You can fire this one. No one cares. Uh, you need to get down over here into this little corner area to have a clear shot. No one else's position really matters, I would say. Uh, but you know what? Let's Let's go ahead and get Kate up over there as well. And let's quick save that again. Why? I don't know. I guess I'm paranoid. We're able to pull the trigger over here. Uh, 
I'm gonna wait until the Lonko gets up there, just just for fun. Just for fun. Does it really matter? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait until this long coat gets to this position so you can see what happens up there. Just just because I, I mentioned it earlier, but I want to actually show it in action. Uh, but yeah, with the four bodies up there, plus one over here, that should be five. I believe this guy dies as well, but I like being, you know, be better safe than sorry. All right, so this guy arrives over here, right? You know, you remember how long he waits in the area, right? But take a look at this. Pop our shot. weren't kidding, Doc. What the fuck? Give me the bastards that did this! <laughs> they did it. Time for Hector to make an entrance. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, let's hurry. Nobody got a train to catch. And no reason to stay quiet anymore. <laughs> this is gonna get wild. If you want to stock up at the shed, now's the time. Clearly none of them understand that there are badges to be earned over here. So we can be pretty aggressive actually with Hector as long as we don't use that shotgun. Because we've cleared this space out, we're not going to have to. So first step is to wait until this gunwoman gets out of the way, then hit this poncho up. You want to hit him and pick him up. You want to hide his body so the alarm doesn't go off. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry it up, hurry it up. All right, drop him down. Oh, I love dealing with bodies as Hector. Now the gunwoman comes through, she's gonna go, where'd you go? No time to waste over here, she's gonna turn around as well, and we're going to rush her, like so. Oh. Again, for posterity, I like hiding this body as well. Pull you down over here. Now let's move up. We're gonna put Bianca down over here. We can rush. There we go, go ahead and quick save it, why not? And let's pop that whistle. There we go, stay low. I'm around the corner over there. All right. Guy's going to come up through Bianca. Have a wonderful date with him. There we go. Pick that up. We do have this long coat over there that we need to be wary of. Go ahead and put Bianca down over here. Pop our whistle. Move up this way. Ah, oh, damn. I went just a little bit too far. A little bit too far that time. You can do this pretty smoothly. Okay, let's walk back up over here. Come on now. Come on through, come on through. Second date. Is it better? No, no it's not. Poor guy. Now let's move on up over here. Put Bianca down over here. Go ahead and quick save it, why not? Pop that whistle. Come up to here. Alright. There we go. There we go. Down over here. Beautiful. That's what I was going for the first time. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and pick Bianca back up. And back out the door we go. So that, I think, is the Lonko that was hanging out over here. Uh, let's go ahead and quick save it. Head on out the door here. Relatively simple section, though we do need to get... Right. A little tricksy. So first step is come down over here. You can see there's a blind spot here. Let's go ahead and put Bianca down. Right at the wheel over here. Pop the whistle. But he's going to make his way over. Want to make sure we stay hidden over here. Going to come closer and closer. We're going to skirt around his viewing angles. Down he goes. Keep Bianca right back up. Go ahead and put Bianca down over here. Again, still in the blind spot. Should be. A little too close, actually. A little too close. Let's put you down over here. That should be good. Cool. We'll pop the whistle right over here. And here again, we have to kind of dance around. Alright, make sure we get up over here. That should be relatively safe. Goddamn. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's go. Gotta hide those bodies. Gotta hide those bodies. Alright. Bianca, let's go. Get the whistle popped. Move up. There we go. We're gonna come through. We're gonna pick him up. We're gonna toss him in those bushes. I believe no one's gonna see us over here yet. We're good. Just good old fashioned. Oh. Nothing to worry about. Now. Bianca down over here. 
Still the blind spot, right? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go ahead, quick save it, pop that whistle. Up in this cozy corner, we want to be very careful. Don't want to get spotted over here. All right, we're good. Nudge up a little bit, and down he goes. Good stuff. Take Bianca back up. I don't want to take care of you. Right, I remember. I'm gonna sneak around this way. Just get up close to this corner over here. Let that come through and rush. Ooh, I might have mistimed that. I did. I love when you can just tell. You're like, ah, you know what? Cack that up. Did I, though? Yes, I did. We're good. It's a way for him to look our way. Wait for him to look away. Rush. Go, 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 go. Come on. There we go. I get a little bit closer to him. The axe out. Rush him as he's looking away. Down he goes. Nice and easy. Through the door over here. Quick save that. Now, there are folks that'll look down this way. Not so far. But you want to be careful when taking this guy out. Everybody else. No trouble. Drop you. Where is... There you go. Bring McCoy up over here. And Hector. Move you through. We can stay low over here. But he's not going to see us. Not even close. Bring you over. And this is pretty much it. Go and quick save that. Not sure how I got here so fast. Beautiful. We want to not rush through over here. You don't want to get spotted. But once we're through there, we're pretty much home free. Got to rush out. Go up. So, no guns used. We got both sets of dynamite. We used the rocks. We used the logs. Um, this is a very thorough playthrough, which of course means you're not going to get a speed run out of this one. Uh, now, hopefully, there hasn't been like an update or something that prevents you from getting both badges at the same time. But that's what I managed to do. Hopefully, that's still possible. Um, and it's not something weird because I've already done it. I don't know. Who knows? But let me know your experience if you had a chance to uh, experience it. Let's get out of here. Everybody, on the train. Let's go. You sure about this? Absolutely. I'm not finished with David. I'd rather you stay with your ranch. <laughs> and I'd rather see what you got. If you insist. Damn it. Not my lucky day, it seems. Another round? I think I'm good. I want to. He's a damn cheater. <laughs> like I'd have to cheat against you. <laughs> oh, finally. Trust me, it's worth waiting for. <sighs> so, what about the train? <laughs> we'll ditch it. Don't need it to get to New Orleans. What's in New Orleans? Just an old bounty I want to catch up on. Frank, huh? I know that face. Works for the DeVitt Company now. Hey, let me see it. That's an old picture. How long has this hunt been going? Long enough. I'll finish it in New Orleans. Guess we all have our troubles. <laughs> Hector, it tastes amazing. Uh, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a bit salty. Well, there's definitely some salt missing. Oh, well, Kate, sounds like there's more left for the two of us. <laughs> I'm sure I don't want more. It's just not properly spiced. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, McCoy. <laughs> I love that interaction. It's so it's so wholesome. <laughs> it's so wholesome. Um, yeah, it looks like the game didn't count the dynamite from the shooting range. You get a little plus when you accomplish a badge, um, you know, multiple times or whatever. So that's unfortunate about uh, recording this playthrough, <laughs> considering I... Uh, anyway, uh, at least you all know the method of getting both of those done and all of this as well. So I guess it's almost all these badges, bar one potentially, um, in one Desperado difficulty playthrough go ahead and watch the uh, the playback I suppose I always love looking at these replays so again my apology about how long this episode took to come out but between the bridge to get those five kills and not using uh, the gun over here and also doing both sets of dynamite at the same time 
uh, there was a couple of different things I wanted to figure out, and I wanted it to make to I wanted it to be efficient as well, finding all the useless things, the useful things, the right spots, things like that, which bodies need hiding, which ones don't, and it's a pretty complicated level. Now, the next one is not as complicated. Uh, my intention is maybe to drop one of these episodes once every week, like every Monday or something like that. It really depends on how interested y'all are in watching more Desperados 3 on the channel. I understand the game's been out for a little while yet, but I am still thoroughly enjoying it. So if y'all want to see it, I obviously would enjoy, you know, sharing my experiences with y'all. But uh, again, entirely dependent on if y'all want to see it. Uh, man, I really like this level quite a bit. It's uh, very sprawling, very big, very lots of different like types of environments and stuff. It's just such a it's such an intense level. And again, a big part of that extra time, like as you can see over here, we're at 38 minutes. So all the time it takes us to clear this area, you can kind of deduct that from the actual run of the level. It's probably actually a 45 minute level, which is about the the average length of these levels it feels like so far. You have to consider as well, I'm describing my move, so that slows me down. So I'd say it's about actually 30 minutes or so um, on a on a not speed run run. Um, but yeah, this was this was fun, man. So many so many mishaps. My apologies as well for losing my patience every so often. Uh, stuff like that happens from time to time, I guess, with a game like this. That's why we've got quick saves and quick loads. All right, and then down we go over to here to blow the dynamite, really, and over to the end phase. So yeah, roughly about 45 minutes is the actual runtime, minus uh, facing after the extra set of dynamite, I suppose. There it is. Oof. Quite the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach comment. Uh, comment? <laughs> it's been a long recording. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. And if you want to see more Desperados 3, let me know down below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Just sends me a little signal that, hey, there are people that are subscribing specifically for this type of content. And uh, just lets me know. Again, super important to give me that kind of feedback, I would say. Folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>